welcome back to another poly gel nail design set these were so freaking bomb like i love these um i'm gonna get into the inspiration behind them a little later but i absolutely love these i'm always trying to do a set that i never seen before and i feel like i captured that with this new glitter but i was trying to show y'all the glitter um it with the flash or not i don't know how well you can see it but they were super cute so jumping right into it i'm using sxc's poly gel this was from their bridal kit um i got this kit about two two and a half years ago somewhere in there and um i did check last night for the link but they don't have more amazon anymore but i absolutely love um sxc i'm not even sure why i stopped using them they are so easy to use it's soft but not soft where it's running it's just a really nice poly gel so um if you're looking for a poly gel or kit from amazon i definitely would suggest trying sxc very very nice but um all i'm pretty much doing here is just doing um an extended nail bed i already did the ring finger that was for like shorts and reels so that's why that one was already done so i'm just pretty much bringing it down trying to match it up with the ring finger um you guys already seen it set so just the middle and the ring finger have the same design um now this was like i was going for like glam and neon and so i wanted to be a very clean set so i did go in and file with a thin wood hand file just to like clean up those lines trying to bring it down to a nice point so that way each and every color was able to shine on their own without being overpowered by the next color and so um yeah i'm just gonna file it up i did do the same thing on the ring finger again those was recorded for reals after filing, I go in with some alcohol on a um, paper towel and just wipe off all of that extra dust. I absolutely hate filing at my desk, but sometimes I have to. Now, this pink, I don't even know how to pronounce it. I believe it's a Sheba, a Shihabe. I, I'm not sure, but this kit was a neon kit. I believe it was six colors in this kit. Five or six. I'm thinking six um i do have this color multiple times it's nothing out of the ordinary it's pretty much the same like all the other neon pinks i have but i'm trying to use every poly gel that i have but the pink was super pretty it didn't give me no problems it didn't um run or anything like that it cured with no problem so it was just still a nice kit if you guys are looking for an affordable neon kit i believe this kit was like eleven dollars or something like that so okay i'm just trying to make sure um they are the same width on each nail and also on each side of the nail so i did go in with a kit brush just to kind of even it up now this green is from your sugar um again no big issue i believe this kit is like 13 dollars right now on amazon um they cure fine and everything i didn't have an issue with it but let me tell you guys how the inspiration behind this set came so i had a dream the night before i did this set and um i was pregnant i was scheduled to have a c-section and so i get to the hospital i get into the room the room is like full glam the paint on the walls was like a shimmer gold with a bunch of sparkles the bed was encrusted with like stones and rhinestones and gems. It was just so pretty. Everything was like sparkly. Like I don't know if you guys seen like them homes and stuff on Pinterest. Full glam houses. And that is how that room was. It was just glitter and sparkles everywhere. Alright so they get me all set up. I'm on the table. The doctor come and the doctor have on a super short dress. But it is like a neon dress with a bunch of neon colors in it yellows greens pink blues aren't it had like a whole bunch of colors in it but the dress was really short and the doctor heels she came in with like six inch heels and the heels was like sparkly it was like a gold sparkle um heel that kind of tied up the leg and her eye makeup was like gold and sparkly and so that was the inspiration behind this set um it is so odd i Pull inspiration from anything i'm not even sure the meaning behind the dream but that is how this set came about 
because the hospital room was sparkly and then the doctor dress was just like bold bright neon colors and it was just an over top over the top drink but that's how this set came about um yeah you know, i just tend to try to pull inspiration from anything that i see and just kind of put things together and so i was trying to get a glam meet neon type of set i personally feel like i executed it absolutely love this set um so i did file that and then um well i wiped off the sticky layer and then went in and filed again i wanted everything to be like really clean and crisp and um so that's what we're doing here i'm not sure no okay i didn't do that with the green and blue just pretty much the parts that i was able to put the hand file against and then again just wiping off all of that dust guys if i can say this and i'll say this in every video put on your nails what you want to put on them do them how you want to do them and you'll be so much happier with the outcome i feel like um once i had gotten to a point that i wasn't trying to recreate anybody else set, i was so much um prouder and happy and amazed with my outcome because i felt like it was true to me so if you guys are struggling just kind of go for it pick your little colors that you want or your design that you want to do and just kind of go for it have fun with it but back to the video um so went ahead and did the the blue the blue was from Lanfo. um they don't have names they have numbers so i'm not even sure what number that was and i don't even think that was a neon kit that it came from but that kit is also on amazon i believe at least the last time i checked that yeah i believe this kit is still on amazon and i'll add the link to that one um so as you can see i'm pretty much doing the same pattern print design on the two fingers i'm just going back and forwards all i'm doing is taking that poly gel pressing it up against the next color and then um just kind of make it look like a nail I do not like to overlap my colors, so I don't like to push it up against one and then smooth it over the top. Although I know I'm going to file it down, I still like to be able to see what my design is looking like as I work. And so that is all I do with that. Now for the pointer and the ring thing, I'm sorry, the pointer and the pinky finger, I'm just doing a simple um, solid nail. Me personally, I prefer to use the one B method. Um, there's many a different methods that you can use. Just find whichever one works best for you. But I personally like the one B. I like to squeeze that B directly, pretty much in the middle or towards the end of my free edge. And then we drag it back towards the cuticle area. And then lightly tap it up down and around that cuticle area. After I'm happy with my cuticle area, I'll start pulling the rest of it down. Now, these videos are sped up, so it did not go this fast like this. It did take me a little time, and especially around my cuticle areas, I take a long time because I try to get them very, very clean, neat, and perfect. So, um, yeah, I'm just dragging up that bulk, trying to make sure my nail is fully covered. Now, I did have to readjust my form because that was such a big bead, which was definitely more poly gel than was needed for that nail. But um, just dragging it down, it did shift my form a little bit. And so I do like to keep an eye out to make sure that my um, form is where I need it to be because I don't want the nail to come out too wonky. Like my nails are already wonky, so we don't want it to be too wonky but here are the nails after guys i was so impressed with these because yes they are thick and they do require a lot of filing but i was so happy with the outcome because it wasn't that bad like yeah i had to file it down but they came out the application just came out really good here are the um tubes that i use and the brands um we got your sugar and i'm not even sure what that one is called but those were the four tubes that i used then I kind of went in and filed. Um, you guys going to see soon because I did have to go back. But this bit that I'm using is a medium bit. The burl is um, longer than a lot of the other medium bits. This bit was also a little pricey. It was about $15 on Amazon. Um, I did like it. I'm definitely going to have to go back and try another one, like a two-time course or something. But after I do my filing, I go in and clean up my shape. 
um while i was filing and i do whatever i do on one nail i do on the other nail whatever i do on one side i do on the other side so while i was filing i realized that i wanted the nails to be a little bit longer because i wanted to fully bling out the pointer and pinky finger so i just went back washed my hands after i filed came back at my form i'm pretty much just gonna cut the sides like i would if i didn't have an extension on and then I put it up under that nail and then secure it to the finger. What I am trying to do, or for me, the most important part was to make sure there was no gap from the free edge of the nail and the form. So it took me a little minute to, to readjust that thing. But once I got it readjusted and there was no gap, I was good to go. And then um, I did just go right in with the poly gel. So gel will stick to gel if you need to add more just add it you do not have to add base coat or any sort of gel to get it to stick so if the poly gel is already cured you can go back and add uncured poly gel to that cured poly gel as long as it is connected but that's pretty much what i did on all of the nails i just um put them down uh, made them all a little bit longer and actually, I'm kind of glad I did because I did absolutely like the um, the new color, that new glitter at the end of the nail versus just being the blue and green at the end of the nail. All right, so after I went and filed that up and blended it in, I'm going in with my um, charms. These I got from AliExpress. Um, I'm not even sure how much they was, but I know they was fairly cheap because I don't spend a lot of money on AliExpress. So they probably was no more than like $2 for like 10 And so I'm just going to add some, um, what are they? Neon. I'm just going to add some neon rhinestones to the pointer finger just so the set can be cohesive. Um, the middle and ring finger had neon and so I wanted the whole set to go together and that was the reason why I added the neons to that pointer finger. And then I'm just going to go in and try to um, even them up, make sure everything is nice and straight. My daughter is always in the room, especially when it's time to do the bling application. And I feel like bling is the longest step for me. Even though it's really not the following is, I just feel like it takes me so long to do bling. I always feel like I absolutely have to have it, but it's just a long process. Um, when you top coat, just be sure to top coat the entire nail, including down the sides and the tip. I did put a little too much top coat on this, and I did have a little flooding under the cuticle on that finger, but that was okay. So, originally, I wanted to use those same charms that I used on the pointer finger on the ring finger and middle finger, but after kind of putting it on there, playing with it, I just felt like it was a little too much going on. So I'm just gonna remove that and then just add the neon rhinestones to um, the middle and ring finger. And so after that, just straight, and then I didn't wanna to do too much. Again, I wanted this set to be like glam meet neon. And so I wanted to be able to see the glam part and I also wanted to be able to execute the neon part and just put them all together. And I feel like I did that. But um, I'm just wiping off that extra pot. I'm mean, sorry, wiping off that extra top coat. Cured it. Now, I'm only leaving my thumb in just to say that my thumb serve a purpose for being short. It helps me when I text, open can sodas, when I'm picking up small things. So a short thumb serve a purpose for me. It truly helps. But here is the final set. I swear I love these things. They came out so beautiful. But I want to thank you guys for taking the time out and watching my videos and showing me the love and support that you do do. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one.